Hello, welcome to Todd Miller TV. Joined here today with Juana, and we are going to talk about disclosures. Yes. Okay, what is in real estate when we say disclosure, meaning the seller or the realtors disclosing things? What does that mean? Okay, so in most states, um, as in Nevada, there's uh, something called a seller's real property disclosure or some form along those lines. And what that means is that the seller has to tell a potential buyer. Uh, everything they know about the property. So if the garbage disposal doesn't work, they're supposed to tell them that. If the roof leaks, they're supposed to tell them that. Uh, sellers fill that out and give it to the buyers. And also, uh, agents are supposed to disclose what they know about the property. So if they know that uh, the property has been flooded or if something is wrong with the property, they also have to disclose that. The issue becomes kind of two, two part. First, um, the sellers sometimes simply forget or they've lived with an issue for so long that it's not an issue for them so it never occurs to them to disclose. And then the second part is the agent. The agents never live there. They don't know that the property was flooded five years ago and they have no way of knowing that so they can't disclose that to you. So this is where you as a buyer have to do your due diligence. Okay. So due diligence is what happens after you have your offer accepted and it takes many forms. One of them is a home inspection. So uh, you need a home inspector to go through the property with a fine tooth comb and make sure that there are no glaring uh, deficiencies or repair issues. Uh, the second part is read your preliminary title report. Uh, preliminary title report tells you all kinds of wonderful things about the property and one of the things that it tells you is any fees that run with the property. Now you pay somewhere in the order of close to about a thousand dollars for that preliminary title, title yeah. report, and I would guess that 99.99999 people never read them. No one reads it. No one reads them. Yeah. So no in that, them. so for example, what can <clears throat> what can be in there is sometimes um, a developer will put in there this uh, wonderful little fee that might be something like um, quarter percent that they get a quarter percent of the sale price of the property every time it changes hands for the next 50 years, 100 years. To recoup something that they did. Exactly. They put in a road, they put in a sewer line at their expense, and that's how they're going to recoup it. Exactly. Yeah. But you may not know that unless you read that preliminary title report. It okay. is no one's job to point that out to you in the title report. It is your job to read it. Okay? All right. So what about, this is the big one. Uh -huh. A person buys a house, they close, and then they go, Oh, the agent never told me that there was a, you know, five years ago the house flooded. Right. And the three owners ago, that person had to, like, have all the carpet torn out mm -hmm. and replaced. But I found out from the neighbors right. that they said there was a big flood three years ago. And the last owner never reported it. Um, so... Like, where does that leave them? I mean, is it the agent's fault? Is it the old seller's fault for not disclosing? Because I think if people think everything's going to be disclosed, in actuality, 90% of all stuff, it's not disclosed because people just don't know. It's not obvious. Right. Either people don't know or uh, the problem was taken care of. Like, if the property flooded, the, the owners did the repair, so that they're not even thinking that they have to disclose that. Okay, they're thinking that they have to disclose things that are currently wrong with the property, not past history. So it's not that people are trying to pull one over on you, okay? Right. You have to understand how people are thinking. So it's your job as the buyer to ask good questions. Uh, somebody that's really good at helping you with that in some ways is your insurance agent. Insurance agents are going to email me now and go, we don't do that. But actually, they, they do. So one of the things that insurance agents will do is that they'll look at the property history, okay? And you can ask your insurance agent before you close escrow because you'll need your insurance binder to go ahead and, and look up the history of the property, and they'll look that up for you. Uh, your lender will also look, that, look up the history of the property yeah. for you. So ask them for the information. There's a lot of information out there that you can get if you are savvy and you ask questions. Ask lots of questions. But at the end of the day, be happy with the house you got. Um, you know, what's in the past is in the past and hopefully it, does, it doesn't negatively impact your ownership of the property. But you're never going to know everything about the property unless you have lived there from, you know, when it was dirt. <laughs> okay. Here, Here's an interesting thing. Take one of those forms and go through it. Like download it from your state site and fill it out as best as you know. 
Then call a home inspector and say, hey, how much do you charge for a home inspection? I just want to have everything checked. You know, just make sure everything's up to speed. And you'd be shocked at how many things they find that you had no clue of. You'll be like, oh, I didn't know about this. And they'll be like, oh, well, it was probably like this when they built it. You know, they right. put this, they did this thing wrong. Like, this, this one part, the beams are too far apart. Like, they should have another beam here and they didn't put one or whatever. You'd be shocked at how many things, even brand new homes, that they, inspectors will find problems. And here's the other thing. Two inspectors, they find completely different things. Absolutely. One inspector won't find something, another inspector will. Right. So then now you're expecting a seller or the agent to disclose every potential possible known problem with a house. Like seriously, you, it's not like magically we walk in and we know everything. Yeah. The other thing is, you guys will get uh, the homeowners association documents, and of course they're like yay thick, and you guys don't read them, and then you're upset when um, you're. You want to paint your house another color, or you want to do something with your property. Like, like rent it out, and or, you can't. Or you want to have patio furniture on the front porch. And, and maybe, you can't. And maybe you can't. So read those packages. They're yep. very important. Again, it is your job as the buyer to educate yourself regarding the history of the property, the use of the property, everything about it. Yep. So just because you picked out a property, the offer got accepted, and the lender approved you, your job isn't done, okay? You still have more homework to do before you close on that house. Yes. All right. Good. So that's sort of disclosures in a nutshell. I think the bottom line is agents and sellers will disclose as much as they know, which tends to be very little, and you really have to do your job as a buyer. HOA stuff, insurance stuff, um, preliminary title and physical mechanical inspection of the house. It's really all on you. So do pay attention. Um, that is my update for today. Juana, thank you very much. You're welcome. And hope to see you on the video.